We would like to introduce someone who has been part of our family for uh, the better part of a year, I believe, yes. maybe more. Um, she's on nightly on Domingo Live, not on Domingo Live, on the news. Mm -hmm. um, she's been on Domingo Live too. She's been on Domingo, That's right. yes, we have. We've had reports yes. of her. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to introduce her formally to everyone who uh, watches Channel 3, Lydia Herrera. Welcome. Lydia! Welcome, 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 welcome to Domingo Live Absolutely. and welcome again to South Texas. We want to know more about you, especially the community that is really getting to know you. Mm -hmm. You can tell us about yourself. Give us a little background. Yeah, well, originally I'm from Los Angeles, but I was raised in Houston. Um, I always had a passion for journalism, but I didn't know the importance until I was in college. Mm -hmm. And so I just pursued it, started off in Tyler, Texas, and now I'm here in Corpus. Now you're here and you had some connections to Texas before, right? Houston? Yes. How did that work out? Well, my used? family moved from Los Angeles to Houston, and I was just raised there. So now I like to say I'm more Texan than Californian. There you I go. See, that. I'm not that. So how long have you been here in South Texas? So in South Texas, I believe I came in March. So I started in March. So it's been a good seven months now here. It feels like forever, honestly. And what do you love most about South Texas so oh far? Oh my God, I think the question is what I don't love because yeah. I love absolutely <laughs> everything. You know, it's beautiful, but I think the community here, everybody's just so inviting, so welcoming, and everybody has a story and they're willing to tell you their story and you just, you know, listen. So I love, you know, getting to know everybody, not just here in Corpus, but I mean across South Texas. Yeah, you visited a lot of the, the smaller towns. Tell us about that. How has that been? Yeah, so I visited Robstown, went all the way to Alice to cover a couple of stories, um, Beeville, yes. of course. It's just so, so beautiful. Every city has their own, you know, story, and the people there are just really what makes it, you know, so beautiful. Y también nuestra Lidia habla español para todos ustedes también. I think you've done a couple of uh, packages for Domingo Live, right, in Spanish? Yeah. The, Thank you for that. I think um, I was live for the USS Kingsville. I did a couple of Hispanic Heritage Month yes. in español. Um, yeah, so, sí puedo hablar en español, pero me da un poquito pena. Ah, sí, no, no, no te debe dar pena. Aquí estás con tu familia. Sí, estás con tu familia. Absolutely. Cuando este, eras niña y estabas con tu familia, eh, pasaste más tiempo en Houston, ¿verdad? Sí. Um, ¿La comida, eh, acostumbraste a comer comida tejana? Sí, es un poco diferente, mexicana y tejano, mm -hmm. um, pero me encanta todo, todo, especially in, in Texas. It's just, it's part of the Texas culture. Mm -hmm. And so me encanta. ¿Y tu familia qué dice cuando te ven la televisión y cuando, pues, cuando platican de lo que haces? Mm -hmm. Well, desde pequeña quería ser periodista. Um, me recuerdo de pequeña uh, miraba las noticias local de Univision o Telemundo o el primer impacto. Mm -hmm. And so mi mamá siempre sabía que quería ser periodista. And so ahora que ya estoy como reportera, son, están muy orgullosos de mí. Claro, claro so que are sí. we. So are we, exactly. <laughs> ¿Dónde tienen la, de qué educación, el colegio? Yo fui a la Universidad de Houston. Okay. So fui a la Universi Universidad de Houston, and then después me moví a Tyler, Texas. Yo okay. estoy aquí en Corpus. Yeah. Este, y ahorita cubres diferentes um, horarios de, sí. de noticias. Uh, you're a general assignments reporter, so you cover everything. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite subject what do you like to cover best oh my gosh um, anything that's community based I like to be able to sit down with somebody and tell you know their stories um, I I think one of my favorite ones was learning about the Hano music mm -hmm. and how it started here and you know in South Texas and it's just so beautiful things that I didn't even know until I moved out here and it's just part of the culture part of you know the Hispanic culture but also Tejano Excellent. And what are your plans for the future? What do you plan to do? Well, I have big plans. Obviously, I want to go back to Houston and be a reporter to tell the story of the community that raised me. Mm -hmm. um, but before then, I do want to make another stop. I want to go back to where I was born in Los Angeles nice. and then come back to Houston. Very good. Very nice. But we Love wish that. you all the best. Yes. We Thank embrace you. your, your talents and, and your desire to to move up in in the ranks of journalism as it is today you know there's an opportunity mm -hmm. everywhere but you've got to I guess hone your skills right we all hone our skills in the smaller markets so we wish you all the very best and we're glad that you're part of the free news family and thank you for for choosing to make a stop here in south texas yeah, for sure for your journey you know within your journey we appreciate it
And you'll be reporting tonight, right? <laughs> yes, just to hurry up. Okay, thank you so much, thank Lydia. You. We thank appreciate you your time. Thank you.